the news. We heard children that were being abused in an adoptive home, and they were urging people to just sign up for emergency placement with a foster care agency so that if the children are removed from a home, they have somewhere to put them until an arrangement can be made. So that very day, I called OHEL and um, we went in, we filled out the paperwork and um, a few months later got a phone call that they had two sisters, a five and a half year old and an eight year old that they needed to place. We had 30 minutes to make up our mind and so we took them. When I First, I was married to Gila back in the 70s. Gila made it very clear to me that she hoped and intended that we would have foster children. She had foster children in her home when she grew up. She thought that it was important that we be able to extend whatever skills we had at parenting to others outside our family as well. I was surprised to find out there were many children like this. I thought it was maybe a rare occurrence that Jewish children would not have a place to stay. I had no idea there were many, many, many Jewish children that had the same problem. My earliest memory is when the two girls came to visit us and they were frightened, maybe even more frightened than I was, but very frightened and they each came to us with two garbage bags, black garbage bags, and one was uh, toys, and in the other was clothing. Uh, both of them actually belonged in the garbage bag, but it was their stuff, and you couldn't take it away from them. As a little time went by, we bought clothing, and we bought toys, and we bought, and they melded into the family, and once the new material started coming in, it was okay for the old material to be thrown away. We talked to our children, uh, and I think they were somewhat mystified by the entire concept, but as it turned out, they, they embraced it. They, they learned that not all children had the same advantages that they had, and that they should not take things for granted, and they made the experience for the uh, foster children that we had, I believe, exceptional, and I think it was a growing experience for them as well. We had uh, a number of foster children, I think over a dozen, over a 10, 15 year period. Some for just a day or two, one for three and a half years. I think we made a real impact. I think they had a feeling of being loved. OHEL was there to support us all the way through. 24 seven, you have a situation, you call them up and they are right there to help you, to back you. They take you through it step by step. We heard stories from children that came into our home of physical abuse, emotional abuse, and I think as a people, it's our responsibility and our obligation to see that everybody grows up in a family that loves them. Taking in foster children is shouldn't be an option. It really should be an obligation for people who can do it. Not everybody can do it. They may be in a family situation in which they can't do it. But if they're able to, they should. And second, they can. I don't believe that Gina and I were extraordinary parents. Uh, we were parents. And we were, hopefully we were good parents. And we were able to apply uh, those skills to, to an outsider as well. If there's room in your heart, there's always space in your house. I recommend it for all. Just try it. You, you can do it. You can be successful even in failure. And the rewards are, are fabulous.